Hey guys, welcome to another video for my creative year, albeit a little late again. Um, for those that are unaware, I'm having some dental issues. So anyway, um, if you didn't see my video from the beginning of October 2020, then I will link it in a dip below in the video description along with the tutorial for last month because I got the prompts confused for September, for September and October. So last month was supposed to be bright colors. This month was supposed to be monotone, monotone one shades of one color. I got my prompts confused and last month I did a tutorial and the introduction video using the monotone prompt and this month, yeah, so anyway. So I've already done a monotone tutorial, so I'll link it below along with um, the October 1st video. We're gonna do a little tutorial um, with bright colors. So specifically like a pink, and the, yes, this brush is like past it. Um, a pink, a teal, a yellow, like black and white. Maybe I might throw some green in there somewhere. Um, the list of the prompts um, and color suggestions for um, the month should be um, in the photo album for October. There should be a, a photo album for 2020 in my, the My Creative Year Facebook group, and it should have all of the prompt lists for each month going forward. Each day of the month has a, a different word suggestion prompt for inspiration, and then there's usually a theme for the month. So use them or not, uh, hopefully some of them inspire you. In the meantime, I have this scrap piece of watercolor paper that I obviously was trying to do a watercolor chart on for a palette I put together, which I totally screwed up the lines on, so I did it over again. This is just a scrap piece of paper, but I'm thinking I want to paint over it, use this as texture, and create something I can cut up into maybe tags or postcards. I've got a couple of stamps from my Etsy store, including Modern Atomic 14, 13, Modern Atomic 13, and Modern Atomic number two. So we're gonna use my new jelly gouache palette and these stencils and probably some colored pencils and things to create something interesting. I've got this one double-sided pencil that I'm really enjoying a lot that I found that I have that is by Carandosh. It's a bicolor 999 pencil. It's blue on one end and red on the other, and it is a lot of fun. So. We're gonna to get to it and I'll be right back.
Okay, this is just a quick little easy project and a project reminder that your art never has to be complicated. It can be just something as simple as a little uh, mixed media postcard. I didn't use the yellow, but I did use the lime green, which is kind of in the yellowish family. But anyway, I think they turned out super cute. And um, they are sort of postcard card size, so I can save them to send off um, to people I'm thinking about, or I can use, the holidays are coming up, and because of COVID and the pandemic, who knows if we're gonna actually be able to see anybody outside of our bubble. So, if you can't see them, you can take one of these little cards and you can send it off to them with a little note on the back. Say, you know, hey, I'm thinking about you. I hope you're happy. I hope you're at peace. Hello. Um, you know, whatever. It doesn't have to be complicated, but at the same time, these are super cute. So, I hope you enjoy that quick little speed through tutorial and that you have fun with it this month and have had fun with it this month, that you stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Support the free content in the Facebook art groups and the YouTube channel if you can. Um, use the links in the description below for my Etsy shop and all of that. And uh, Wow, yeah, just try to keep your chin up and keep going forward and that's all we can do. We'll, we're here for each other as always. All right, that's it for now. See y'all later. Bye guys.